What's up guys, my name is Kenji and in this video I'm going to be telling you guys my story about how I got into King's College Medical School without the best A-levels. So to give you guys a bit of background, um, I just graduated from um, University of Birmingham and I got a first class degree in biomedical science, um, but at my A-levels I actually got ABB. And as I'm sure a lot of you are aware, ABB isn't the best A-levels um, when applying to medical school. So at the time I received my results, I was quite upset and uh, you know because doing medicine was my dream um, for like basically my whole life and so I got my grades. And I remember going to my careers advisor um, and going to my teachers and asking, you know, what are my possibilities, you know, what are my chances? Can I still apply to medical school the following year or should I just consider something else? And a lot of them encouraged me to do something else. Um, and and when, I, when I asked them about doing postgraduate entry route, a lot of them said, you know, you're going to end up being a lot of debt. Your chances um, are still quite low to get in. So at the time I was like, you know what, I'm going to do what I love to do, which was science. So I applied for biomedical science and I got into University of Birmingham for biomedical science. And... At that time I was still quite upset but you know the med biomedical science was taught in medical school I and mean, I met a lot of friends with um, a lot of medics um, and that kind of relit my fire of wanting to become a doctor. So in my second year we, I got closer to the application stage and the good thing about the University of Birmingham is that they actually offer guaranteed interviews um, to the top 10 students. So I applied for that and I was like I may as well try and I was given a guaranteed interview. So you know this stage obviously I was really, really happy and I was like oh my gosh you know there actually is a, you know opportunity. So as well as applying for the guaranteed interview I also applied for medicine uh, postgraduate in uh, sorry I had postgraduate in Birmingham and I had undergraduate in Manchester, uh, Queen Mary's London and also King's College London. Uh, so those are my four applications and a few days later or a few, sorry, a few months later i got an email saying that i've been given the guaranteed interview and so again i was really, really happy at this point and i tried as hard as i possibly could and i studied as hard as i possibly could and it got closer and closer to the interview point so yeah so my first year i forgot to say that i got si i got 69 percent uh, which is a high two one and my second year i got a first class um overall so I guess I was a, a pretty good stage and I felt a lot more comfortable in what I was doing. So January came um, in, the, in my second year. I had the interview um, for Birmingham, but right before that I got rejected from Queen Mary's and I also got rejected from Manchester. So I was kind of like, you know, Birmingham is right now my only option. And so I went for the interview, it was a postgraduate interview, and I thought it went really well actually. So, you know, I, I tried my best and I came out feeling quite good. But a month later I got the email saying I've been rejected and so at this point again I was you know really down and I was like oh my gosh you know, what am I going to do so I had kings left um, like I said I was rejected from Queen Mary's Manchester and now I've been rejected from Birmingham and I was like you know if I've been rejected from all three what are the chances that kings would accept me so it got towards the March period so I was in March and my dissertation was due in one week and I was getting quite stressed and I was kind of like giving up hope and I was like there's no way King's is going to accept me. It's already March. I haven't been invited to an interview. Some of my friends I know have, have been invited to interviews in King's um, and I was kind of like, you know what, I can't do medicine, you know, and I'm, I'm, I've got to try next year. But when, while I was having dinner, um, I actually got an email and I was invited to an interview in King's and I was like, oh my gosh, you know, what are the chances? So my dissertation was during the week um, and the, interviews, the interview was about five days after that. And I was really nervous, um, but I got the dissertation done and I had five days to prepare for the interview. But long story short, um, I went for the interview, um, I thought it went really well, and two days later I got the email saying I've been accepted and I've been given an offer to study at King's College London Medical School. Of course, you know, this is probably one of the happiest days of my life, um, you know, I've been working towards it for the last, you know, five, six, seven years. And I was so, so happy, you know, one of the, you know, like I said, one of the happiest days of my life. Uh, my life. And uh, yeah, so it was kind of, you know, from there, from then on, I worked as hard as I possibly could um, for my degree. I needed to get two one in order to be accepted. So I worked as, po as hard as I possibly could, handed my dissertation in, like I said, and results day came around June uh, of this year, and I got first class, and my offer was turned into an unconditional offer. One more thing is that although my A-level grades wasn't that good, uh, my personal statement had to be, you know, a lot better than um, a normal applicant. So I did a lot of uh, voluntary work, I did a lot of work experience, I also did um, a research project. Um, I also got funding from the Wellcome Trust um, and I had to do a lot of extra things to try and make my, my personal statement look very, very good compared to, you know, 18 year olds or postgraduate applicants. Um, but if you want to know more about my personal statement, I'll be, I'll be happy to make a video about it. So feel free to comment down below uh, what you'd like to see in the future. You know, my whole point of this video, guys, is just to kind of to push you, to, to, to motivate you guys and push you. Um, if you're in your A-levels and you've just been rejected or if you're in your uh, degree right now, I want to let you guys know that it is possible to go through the postgraduate route. There is funding available um, and if you want it bad enough, an extra two, three years isn't that bad. So if I did get into medicine the first time around when I was 18, I would wanted to integrate and do a BSc, which, have, which would have taken a total of six years. Doing it the way I just did, it'll take me a total of eight years to graduate uh, to become a doctor. 
So thinking about it, it's only an additional, additional two years. And if you really want to do medicine, guys, it's not the worst route. On the whole period, um, I got to meet amazing people. I got to do um, a lot more work experience. I did uh, my research dissertation. I did a lot of lab work. Um, I, I did a lot of um, you know, research projects, which you know, brought me to, to where I am today. It kind of puts me in a better position to do medicine um, in King's College. I'm a lot more mature now, so I think you know, I, know, I know myself better. I think I'm better prepared to be a doctor now. Um, if I got into medical school when I was 18, I honestly don't believe that I would have done well enough um, you know, in medical school. I don't think I, I was ready to do medicine. It's quite hard for all of us at the age of 18 to be expected um, to be expected to be the same kind of intellectual capacity. Um, I don't think, you know, I think humans are so different and I don't think that everyone reached their, you know, their, their kind of peak at the age of 18. Uh, for me personally, I feel like I reached my peak at the age of 20. So during my UK CAT, um, the second time around, I felt it was a lot easier. Um, I felt that I could handle the stress a lot better. Yeah, so I hope this has been somewhat um, helpful to you guys. If you have any more questions or if you have any more, you know, any, any information you need, please uh, feel free to comment down below and I'll be sure to answer it straight away. So I actually start medical school uh, this Saturday. I'm moving into my accommodation in King's. I start fresh this week um, and welcome week on the following Monday. So I'm really, really happy, guys. And I just want to let you guys know that it is worth it. Um, if you do invest the time to do to go through the postgraduate route, um, it definitely is possible. Yeah, if you have, like I said, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to comment down below and I'll be more than happy to answer them. Any suggestions about what um, I should do in the future or if there's any kind of um, particular aspect of the application process that you guys want to know or need help in, please feel free to comment down below. Thank you for watching. Um, please like, like the video if you like the video, um, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.